Hi everybody, this is Carol Hill. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to find indexed as well as unindexed records for Italy on FamilySearch.org. So let's go ahead and get started. It's actually pretty easy. So we are going to be going to FamilySearch.org and then what you want to do to search for records is you would click this search button and let me explain too that you don't have to have an account to search for records on Family Search. To view some of them, you may need to, but to just come in and look for records, you don't need to. But if you decide you would like to get one, you can just um, get a free account right over here on the right hand side. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back to our search. Hover over the search and you'll see this drop down. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the first one, which is records. Okay, when you come to this point over here on the left hand side it says search historical records if you do a search here you are going to get records from all over the world and even if you limit um, some of the limitations over here too so what what a lot of times you'll want to do and this is even true for other databases is you want to try to go exit right to the the area that you're searching in so that it'll be faster and um, you will just get the things that you want to look at. So when you come here, if you want to search on a Pacific geographical area, and we're going to do Italy today, I would come over here to the map and this and hover over Europe, and then I'm going to click on it, and you'll see I get a drop down of all the different records for the different areas in the European area. So I'm just going to come down to Italy and hover over that. And as you can see on the right hand side, Family Search has 174 collections. The years that are covered are 1314 to 2013. There are over 10 million index records and over 112 million record images. So there's a lot for Italy on Family Search. So what you would do next is you would just click right here on Italy. And then this will bring you to the Italy research page and so that what we're going to just focus on today is this left hand side and this is the the first search that you'll come to is the Italy indexed historical records so you can do a search here for an ancestor let's go ahead and do this really quick while we're here and this will search all the index records that family search has currently today is October 19 2017 so you'll want to check back because um, you know more in more of the records will be indexed so let's go ahead and just put in this name Rocco Corbo and um, I know that this was something that uh, information that we found on our Facebook event and I know that he was born in Italy and she thinks that she knows where but she's not sure because she can't find anything but she believes that the that he was born between 1857 and 1858. So when you come in here to the birth year range, I would go ahead and put a little bit before if 1857, like 1854 or 53. So let's do that. And then she said till 1858. So let's put 1860, so it's just so we get a better range. And you could add other information that you know, but a lot of times I like to just do a basic search to see what I get. So I would just enter that information and then I would do the search. But before we search, let me show you what we're going to actually be searching for. So this shows you the top five over here on the left hand side. If I show, click on show all 47, then this is going to show you all of the records that it will be searching through on this search for Italy. So as you can see, there's, there's quite a few, um, quite a lot, 47. So let's go ahead and let's do the search and then I will show you next how to look at the image only historical records right below. So let's click this search and let's see how many hits we get. And I see it spinning. Okay, so let me explain this this a little bit. So this shows on the left hand side what we've searched for. You can make your adjustments here whenever you need to and then there's another search update down here at the bottom. But what it is over here is we, this says we searched records from historical records and the first page is 1 to 20 of 38 results. 
this isn't a lot of results. Sometimes searches I have done have had over 2,000 results. So what you can do is just beginning to begin to look down here. As far as this Rocco Corbo, it only found one in those indexed records. And then look at the last name becomes is different, which could be maybe the same person. Um, but anyway, this just gives you a list. And like I said, this is 1 to 20 of 38 on this page. But another thing you can do is, do you see this collections page? You can actually make sure and click on that because then this will tell you what area or what record set it found them in. And so as you can see, this is showing the top five for birth, marriage, and death on this name that we that we put in. And if I put show all of the 12, then you'll get all of the results. And if if, it, if there's a certain area that your ancestor was from, then you'll know that that's probably him on that one, possibly. At least you're hopeful, right? <laughs> so anyway, that just explains how Family Search searches for historical records. So I'm just gonna go on the back button and I am going to go back to this page where we were at. So we search the indexed historical records and then what I wanna explain down here is there are these Italy image only historical records. So if you can't find your ancestor in the, in, the index search, you may be able to find them here. It's a little, it's quite a bit more work, but at least you know that the records have been digitized and you can actually search through those. So let me just show you how you would do that. So let's say that this area of Italy right here, 1861 to 1929, is where you want to look for your ancestor. And you can see on this right hand side, it'll show you this little camera. Anytime Family Search has, has just taken a picture or digitized the record, then you'll see this little camera. So let's just look at this. Let's pretend that my ancestor was from here. And then this brings me to this page and tells you a little bit about it. And you'll want to read through that. And then it says, browse through the 226,000 images. Well, sometimes that discour is discouraging, but let me show you how you can break this down. So you always wanna click there on the browse, those images. And what this does is this is gonna bring you to this page, and this will tell you that the province, I don't know how to say that, so this is the province. You can click on that, and then this shows you the communes inside the province. And so then I can go over here to this one that I wanted to look at, and this shows some matrimonies and deaths and um, other records here. And then so if I wanted to look at one of these, say my ancestor got married in this time period, 1864 to 1894, I would click on this, and hopefully this comes up. Okay, so this one comes up. Um, sometimes when you get to this point, you will be, it, you might get a message about how you have to sign in to view it, or you have to go to a local family history center. So that just let just know that that could happen too. So up here, this is showing me that I am looking at image one of 3049. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, you there's different ways you can view this. Zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can look at multiple images at once. So maybe you just want to click on and see what you're going to look at first because there's 3,000 images. And if you can find an index, that's the best. So let's click on this right here and just zoom in and see what that tells us. Okay, and that is in Latin. So, um, but it shows you right here that this is 1864 and 1869. I mean, it'll tell you right here. I don't read, I don't read, um, I mean, Italian. But anyway, let me go. You can go th um, back and forth with these arrows and let me go through these arrows. And this will tell you what it is. And we'll just go a little bit further so you can actually see a record. But this is something that you'll want to read through. So a register. And then this is actually one of the this would be a record. So it'd be something where you would need to go through and look for the date that you think they got married and also for their names through this. Let me go to a next, you know, another one. So a lot of information. Um, but anyway, just a way to check 
Um, maybe you'll find it pretty quick. Maybe the dates um, it won't be that hard to find for your ancestor. And also remember, you can go back to this multiple page, and sometimes, since it's, it's covering various years, you may not need to, you know, you just, you just need to do a little reading and, and look at this. Um, there might be, sometimes there's multiple years and there's these page breaks like this, like this one that I showed you at first. You'll go through and see that there's um, some other years on the page break. So anyway, um, probably confusing, but this is just a way that you can come in and look at those records before they get indexed. So let me know if you have any questions, and um, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.